Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you a really quick way of how to bring life back to your uh, old laptop. Here, I'm going to show you how to replace your uh, old HDD or hard disk with a new generation of SSD disk. This is about five to ten times faster than your old disk when you boot, so it can save you a tremendous amount of time and processing. All right, let's get started. There's going to be a few things you need to do the cloning. The first thing is the SATA cable to USB and a SanDisk SSD or other brands of SSD that is 2.5 inch SATA. Then you need a mini screwdriver and a triangular pick. This is going to help us opening the laptop. I'm going to put a link below the video for all these different tools so you can have a quick access if you choose to buy them. A quick note, this video is to help you with the specific hard drive cloning to SSD and not to teach you how to open your HP laptop. For that, there are uh, plenty of videos on YouTube to show you that. So let's get started. Next step is going to be installing the Acronis cloning software. Go to the link below and uh, download and install. You have installed the software. Now launch the software and you'll find the option for cloned. Click on the clone software. You then realize there is going to be two different drives or more, but mostly two different drives for the simplicity. You have C drive, which is your source drive, and you have your SSD drive, which is your destination drive. Now the size may vary depending on your drive. Select your source being your C drive and your destination being your SSD drive, and then click proceed. The cloning itself, depending on your size or your disk, may take hours. Um, it can take less than two hours or it could take more than five hours, depending on your size. That's normal. If you experience error along the way or failure, one of them could be a resize or format error. For that, um, you might have to buy a larger SSD where the uh, hard disk that you're trying to clone is too big or too much data for that. So make sure you check your hard drive disk size and the different partition size and then before you cloning and buy the right uh, SSD size. Another possible cause, um, you could have a se bad sector on your disk. For that, you need to repair your bad sector before you, before you can clone. This problem may not be so obvious uh, when you are cloning. So uh, to fix the SPAS sector on Windows 10, you can run the command called check disk forward slash R. That's C-H-K-D-S-K space forward slash R. This should resolve any bash sector and this may take hours to run. So prepare yourself before you do so. Another tool you might want to consider instead of Cronus is Mini Tools. This tool has two different types of software. You can choose from a Shadow Maker, which is um, similar cloning capability, or uh, Partition Wizard. That's a bit more advanced if you want to choose your partitions and be able to clone, to clone them individually. I will put a link on the video down below for you to uh, reference a um, how to clone using mini tools so i won't go through here but you can find all the step by step for both softwares from mini tools down below all right guys if you have reached this step that means you have successfully cloned your hard disk to a ssc disk congratulations what i'm going to show you next few things are really just quick couple of slides of um, my hard disk replacement but you can find many videos on YouTube how to open your laptop um, and replace your 
hard disk. So this is just going to be a quick uh, speed through. Good luck, and um, I hope you guys find this video helpful. If you do, please give a thumbs up and share this video. Thanks for watching.